you cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the slayer may flee thither, which killeth any person at unawares. That means, you know, accidentally, by error. And they shall be unto you cities for refuge from the avenger. See, that the manslayer die not until he stand before the congregation in judgment. See, at a place of refuge that they would go to until he would brought the trial for the judgment. And, the, and of these cities, which ye shall give, six cities shall ye have for refuge. So we give, so let's give, make six cities that were just for refuge, for this purpose. Ye shall give three cities on this side of Jordan, and three cities shall ye give in the land of Canaan, which shall be cities of refuge. These are cities that we can go to if we committed a crime, you know, it was accidentally or you intended to kill a person. These six cities shall be of refuge, both for the children of Israel and for the stranger, and for the sojourner among them, that every one that killeth any person of unawares may flee thither. You know, you kill someone, you know, by error or by accident, you can flee into these cities of refuge. And if he smite him with an instrument of iron so that he die, he is a murderer. You know? If he smite him with an instrument of iron that he die, he is a murderer. Because he knew what he was doing, hitting him with that iron. The murderer shall surely be put to death. And if he smite him with throwing a stone, throw a stone at him, wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. Draw a stone at somebody and kill him. The murderer should be put to death. Or if he smite him with an hand weapon of wood, wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. Now let's not talk about um, defending yourself. Just talking about you straight up, you know, bringing forth this blunt force to kill somebody. That's the intent, to put them to death. So, the Most High said, put them to death. The revenger, verse 19, the revenger of blood himself shall slay the murderer when he meeteth him. He shall slay him. Slay mean to kill him. The revenger of blood himself shall kill the murderer. When he meeteth him, he shall slay him. That's why, you know, a lot of times we went to war and stuff. Let me show you something. We got an avenger. A lot of people don't even think about this, but this real. This is real. We going through your pocket for in um, uh, Ecclesiastes 30. Think about this. Uh, he that loved his son, verse 1, causing him to off to feel the rod. I mean, you beat him. And they, this is not no child abuse. Hear what the most I said? He that loved his son, causing him often times to feel the rod. That he may have joy of him in the end. In the end. He that chastens his son shall have joy in him. See that? And shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. Because he's going to be in order. He that teaches his son grieveth the enemy. Before his friends he shall rejoice of him. You teach your son, it grieveth the enemy, our enemies. Because they don't want our sons to know this truth. So you're grieving the enemy as they see us learning, living, and applying this Bible in our life through the power of the Most High, through the power of Mashiach Devashai, by some of Mashiach Devashai. He that teaches his son grieveth the enemy, and, be, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. See, though his father died, though his father died, 
yet he is as though he were not dead. For he have left one behind him that is like himself. You see? While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him. And when he died, he was not sorrowful. Why? He, he left behind him an avenger. See what it said? <laughs> Number 35 and 19, the, the revenger of blood himself shall slay the murderer when he meet of him. He shall slay him. He shall kill him. While he lived, Ecclesiastes 30 and 5, while he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him. And when he died, he was not sorrowful. He was not sorrowful. He left behind him an avenger against his enemies and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. why it says number 35 and 19 the revenger of blood himself shall slay the murderer when he meet of him he shall slay him he shall kill him that's why he told us in Psalm 78 and 5 we not in the law but we in the time of King David ruled Psalm 78 and 5 for he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel that we're looking at, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Why? That the generations to come might know them, might know the laws and the commandments of the Most High, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children from generation to generation to generation, that they might set their hope in the Most High. And not forget the works of the Most High, but keep His commandments. No matter where you go, it's going to always come back to the Most High and do what He say do. His rules and regulations. Hope I got rules and regulations out. Man. 